We're back again with some more custom ordered wallets. These are things that our customers have specced out themselves, sent us an email with their dream wallet. We're gonna look at a handful of things here. There's about 20 different wallets that we're looking at, so let's get right into it. And up first, I think this one's, we're gonna start with my stunner of the day. This is the brand new Shrunken Bison Leather from Horween. This is a product that they are calling Yellowstone. And the color here is called blue. You can see the depth of color and the difference between the peaks and the valleys. Peaks are a little bit darker, a little bit more navy blue up on the top there. And if you look at the valleys of the texture, it's a little bit more of like an electric blue. I really, really like the texture that was cut into this Tony the Ant. You also notice that the stitching is a little bit thicker than most of the thread that we normally use. And that's because this is a hand-stitched Tony the Ant. On the inside, we've got some vertical card slots. You'll see card slots enter this way. Normally we have them going in the other side. So these are the vertical card slots and we have two of those on each side. There's also a hidden card slot underneath. The color's also different. At the moment, there's only two colors of this shrunken bison leather. And this is one of them. This is the bourbon. And then you can see the reverse side of that blue in the center. Up next is another toe in the ant. I thought we'd lead off with toe in the ants because of course, that one was a stunner, but we also haven't seen a ton of Tone of the Ants over the last few months. This is a great piece as well. 100% black shell cordovan this time. We also have a black hand stitching going along all the outside of this wallet. And there's something special about black shell cordovan. This is a really sleek look. You'll notice the customization here on the inside right. This is what we call the baby Ashland stamp. This does not have the A circle on it. The other notable thing about this black shell cordovan piece is the interior center and even in the bill slot. These reverse sides of black shell are much, much darker than we normally see. Oftentimes they're a little bit more green than this. And one more Tony the Ant to look at, this is an underappreciated leather in color. This is color number eight Dublin leather. We've taken the classic color eight shell cordovan color, that dark brown burgundy shade, and we translated that color to this Dublin leather here. And it's translated to be a little bit darker, especially on the surface. And that's because the wax layer that is finished on top of the Dublin is pretty dark. And when you flex the leather, we mobilize a little bit of that wax that is finished onto the surface. We reveal a little bit more of those burnt cherry undertones. So this is a color number eight Dublin Tony the Ant. I think it's a very underappreciated color. I think people started to get interested in this one again when we did the Western texture on top of it. One more notable thing about this Tony the Ant is we have the Horween measuring machine stamp cut into the center. And here's another Color 8 Dublin piece. This time it is on the Capone money clip. You'll notice on this Capone, because we've sort of wrapped it around the spine where the clip goes, we're getting a little bit more of the essence of Color 8, as I would say. And this is something I expect you to see just as you wear the leather and that wax starts to melt in there, the color will appear a little bit more burgundy. I also love the option that this customer has chosen to include the black hardware for this Capone. And here's another great looking Capone money clip. This is my favorite leather foot for patina. This is what the tannery calls raw natural shell cordovan. Normally they polish the surface of the shell smooth and it becomes much more glassy and bright and shiny. This is the stage of the leather before that polishing step. So it starts off a little bit more of a matte finish. And I like that for patina because it gives me a chance to sort of develop my own personal style onto it. You'll also notice in the same way that natural shell cordovan wears in, the raw natural will become a little bit darker and more golden brown with normal use. And I also love this choice here. People that have been following the YouTube videos here for years might've heard me say this before, but reverse interiors, I really think are the way to go. It's a little bit easier to clean up the inevitable scuffs and scratches that are going to happen on the inside of the wallet on the reverse shell cordovan as opposed to the shell cordovan. Let's get into some Johnny the Foxes. This first one is brown cypress and we've got a contrasting cream color stitch going all along the outside. And that stitch color is hinting at the color on the inside. And this is a leather and color we don't often do anymore. This is a color called mock. And this is mock latigo horsehide. It's got a little bit more vibrance to it than a natural color leather, a little bit more yellow and tan. Here's another one with a different color interior. I'll compare this with the mock horsehide. I was saying is yellow. Well, this one on the right here, this is yellow horsehide with a complementing yellow stitching. So really vivid yellow on this giant of the fox. And originally we had made this wallet for the customer with yellow stitching along the outside as well. I sent them a photo. They weren't super into the contrast in the outside, looked maybe a little bit too much like the Batman logo or something. So we made it all black on the outside and all yellow on the inside. I think it turned out great. And here's another one. This is actually not a custom item at all, but it's going with one of our custom orders. I thought I'd show it in the video here. 
Another underappreciated wallet that we do, people come to the channel here and see a lot of the private stock and custom orders. This is our normal offering. So beautiful piece of black shell cordovan with a reverse interior for a giant the fox. And I said that this is our normal offering. We actually have a bunch of these right now. When I say a bunch, I'd say less than 10. But our normal stuff is also really great, which is why I included it in the video. I think that one's going out with this wallet right here, which is definitely a custom piece. This is marbled cigar shell cordovan. And I'm going to spin this one around so you can get the full range of colors. You can get a good sense of it because at certain angles, like here, it's a little bit darker and more brown. And when I spin it around, maybe get 180 degrees away from there, it's a little bit lighter and more caramel, which is really, really neat. So marbled cigar shell cordovan, absolute stunner. Here's a look at the inside. We have a reverse color eight interior and we have some custom Bugs Moran. Now, some of these options, we're not sure we want to do again because it's pretty challenging to make. But this Bugs Moran here is a vertical Bugs Moran on the inside. We've got alternating card slots with natural Latigo and then the Royal Blue Cypress. We've got alternating card slots. Let's have a little comparison with the natural Latigo and the mock horse eye. This is what I was trying to explain earlier. You'll see the mock is a little bit more vibrant than the natural Latigo, which is much more neutral. We've got the blue Cypress, the reverse side in the center here. That's because we have blue Cypress on the outside. Now this customer has shown something that I think is great. This is our quick access card slot with our traditional card slot on the exterior left. And then they wanted to see a vertical card slot on the right. I don't know if we're gonna to wanna to do this one again. It was a little cumbersome for us to put that together. Plus, I think it might just be easier to have the traditional card slot instead of this on the outside. Here's a really special Bugs Moran also. Raw natural shell cordovan. I mentioned before, the best possible for patina in my experience. This is just wearing great, just about as good as anything, maybe better. And here is another special leather on the inside. This is 1940s calfskin. The story I've told a bunch of times, uh, so skip ahead if you've already heard this, but this is leather that Horween tanned in the 1940s. They were never able to reproduce it, and they've been sitting on a load of it, trying to match to it for all these years. They were never able to get it just right. Now they're starting to sell it off. So we're able to make some special wallets out of it, including for this Bugs Moran. And my brother has been out of town for the, a little over a week now. So I've been answering all of the emails that have been coming in. A couple of people have asked why I don't do more black leather wallets. Well, we don't stock those as normal offerings. I think they're just a little less popular for our customer base, but they're beautiful and we love doing them. So I have a black Dublin Bugs Moran here. And we can do these by request. Let me give you a look at the outside and the inside because I think they're absolutely beautiful. Of course, I had this one upside down. Another fun wallet here with some shades of green. On the outside, we have green shell cordovan with a nice bright shiny luster. And on the inside, we've got some vertical card slots. Now this Bugs Moran was made a little bit thinner. We've been trying to choose thinner leather for the vertical card slots on our Bugs Moran. And I told you the Color 8 Dublin has become a little bit more popular. Maybe it's been since the uh, that Western Color 8 that we did. We've, and seeing more people interested in this leather. So color number eight Dublin on the Bugs Moran here, we've got that same nice depth of color, especially when you displace the wax layer on the surface and they get the really nice bright shiny luster. This Dublin leather wears in great. Here's a look at the inside. Another custom wallet here that I don't know if we're gonna wanna do again. This is like a weirdo Bugs Moran with only two card slots on the inside. It's also hand stitched. So we've got the stitching going all along the backside, which is kind of funky and neat. I actually kind of like the way this looks. Um, but it's a little bit more challenging for us to make just because we don't have pattern pieces that fit this one just perfect. And here's another stunner. I think this might be my number two favorite. This is our style of wallet that we call the Gus card case. And I named it that because it's got these little gussets. It expands a little bit with the two slots on the inside. You can hold a bunch of stuff in here, including larger business cards, which was one of the first reasons that we uh, made this design. So Gus card case here in the Western English tan Dublin. I'd mentioned the Western Color 8 Dublin, which is that same texture, but on a different color. People seem to really like this Western texture on, on both those Dublin colors, the uh, English Chan here, as well as on the Color 8. Up next is our biggest pattern piece of the day. This is Green Shell Cordovan on our Traveler Passport holder. This is a huge piece of leather, so you get to see extra large context of everything going on here. And I'll try to spin it around for you just to show you the, the depth of color. There's a really dynamic range of shades in the green shell. So some angles, a little bit darker, more forest green, and then other angles, it's a little bit lighter, a little bit more yellow to it. 
Here's a look at the inside. People have been asking if this one can hold two passports or even four. And the answer is yes. On each side of the traveler passport, I was just realizing I was calling this the traveler passport holder. This is the passport field notes holder, excuse me. So on the inside of this guy, we have two large passport slots. There's one on the left and one on the right. You can actually fit two passports on each side. So people traveling as a family, if you have multiple passports, this one might be a nice option for you. Another green shell quarter of in piece, this time is on our Vic snap wallet We've got a single piece of leather going all the way around we originally designed this to fit coins inside we had a lot of international customers that wanted a coin pouch from us so that's how we came up with the vic snap wallet we also made it a little bit larger so it will fit some credit cards and even cash inside of it another color eight dublin piece this is our key fob in color eight dublin here's a machine gun jack in natural chrome excel we don't see these very often but Maybe about 10 years ago, this used to be one of our most popular items. And we have a couple Frank the Enforcers. This is a vertical card slot Frank the Enforcer in color number four shell cordovan. And this one confused me because at certain angles, it looked a little bit more red. And then other angles like this, we get a little bit more of that reddish brown shade that is how I signify what color four is. It's a beautiful vertical Frank the Enforcer. We've got the two card slots in the front with one hidden card slot underneath. Got the large section in the center. This will fit US dollars folded in half. And then on the back of this guy, we've got our traditional card slots. So there's two on the back, one in the center, and then the three on the front. So what is that, eight? One, two, three, four, five, six card slots. I just can't count. And here's our traditional Frank the Enforcer. This is a beautiful shade. This is magenta shell cordovan, which is a color that the tannery does not often produce. It's one of the more pure looking colors to me. And I'm not sure why that is. Maybe the certain dye mixture that they're using just gives you this really nice vivid shade that you're seeing right there. So magenta shell cordovan on the front and on the back. And the last piece of the day is another vertical card slot, Frank the Enforcer. This time it's also in color number four shell cordovan, but the difference is that we have color four shell on the backside too. So stunner of the day, I gotta come back to it. This Yellowstone leather, extra special. And here's a sneak preview at the next video I'm gonna put out. We're actually going to be doing a private stock event later this week. We're working on some more special pieces, not only in this new Yellowstone leather, but we've got a bunch of special shell cordovan pieces as well as a brand new leather. So look for that later this week. Hopefully you can do a new private stock event uh, this Friday is the current goal. So thanks for checking out everything in the video today. If you want to pick up a custom wallet from us, maybe something like this vertical Tony the Ant and some blue bison leather, you can email me info at ashlandleather.com. Until next time, I hope you have a good one.